Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Luquan Valley and Yifan Ho. This is the game from Tata Steel Chess Tournament. This was played in the Netherlands in 2015. Luquan Valley had white pieces and he started with e4. Yifan Ho played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, and now Luquan Valley played bishop to b5. d4 is the most played move. We have bishop to b5, Rosolimo attack. g6, this is the most popular move by black. Bishop takes knight. How to recapture with b pawn or with d pawn? Yif and Ho captured with b-pawn. D takes on c6 is quite often played by black. We have b takes on c6. Luke on Valley castle at kingside. Bishop to g7. Rook to e1. Knight to f6. And now e5 attacking the knight, gaining the space on the board. To avoid this move, black sometimes plays knight to h6 and sometimes e5. In our game we have knight to f6, e5, knight to d5, c4, knight to c7, d4, c takes on d4, queen takes on d4, and Yif and Ho castled kingside. Who is better? White or black? Black has a bishop here and two pawns against one in the center. And white? White has more space. Question is, which player will improve his or her position more? The next five moves. Okay, let's have a look. White to move. Queen to h4 was played. f6. Knight to c3. Knight to e6. Knight to e4. Pawn takes pawn. Black is a pawn up. Knight from f to g5. Threatening. Queen takes on h7, checkmate. Knight takes knight. Bishop takes knight. Attacking the pawn on e7. But Yi Fan Ho doesn't care. She played queen to b6. c5. What about bishop takes? On e7. If bishop takes on e7, rook to f4 attacking the queen after queen to g3, d5, and black is okay. So in the game we have c5, queen takes pawn on b2, winning another pawn. Black is two pawns up. But now, behind in development. Black light square bishop must get in the game. White to move. How should white continue? One valley played rook from a to d1 allowing black to capture one more pawn. But even Ho decided not to go after the pawn but to bring the bishop in the game and she played d5. Pawn takes pawn and passan. E takes on d6, rook takes on d6, bishop to f5, finally black light square bishop is in the game. Knight to f6 check, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop. Black to move, how should black continue? I'll give you two options. One is rook from a to b8. Another one is queen takes pawn on a2. What is better? What would you do? Developing, going greedy. 
what is your choice? Yif and Ho played Rook from A to B8. A bad move. Why? How should White continue now? What is the best move for White in this position? This is the winning move. This is the move played in the game. Black is in trouble. So instead of developing move, going greedy was much better in this particular case. Because black queen is controlling c4 square. And now after say rook takes on c4, e4 and black is okay. In the game we have rook from a to b8, queen to c4 check, rook to f7, rook from e to d1. Can you see where the threat is? Let's play a random move. And then rook to d8 check, rook takes rook, rook takes rook, checkmate. Yif and Ho played queen to b1. Rook to f8 would offer more resistance, but white would still win. Then we would have this continuation, rook to d8, queen to b6, h3, bishop to e4, and now rook takes rook, king takes rook, rook to d8 check, queen takes rook, bishop takes queen. Well, still losing for black with queen to b1. She was hoping for a miracle, but miracle didn't happen. Luke played h3. If rook takes queen, rook takes rook check, queen to f1, rook takes queen, king takes rook, and black is okay. After h3 was played, Yif and Ho resigned. One possible continuation is queen to b6, rook to d8 check, rook takes rook, rook takes rook, queen takes rook, bishop takes queen. That is why Yif and Ho resigned at move 24. What do you think of this game? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.